Yo, what is up, you poorly drawn pan sages? Uh, today we're gonna playing some games with the top four Celosaur list from Denver Regionals. Um, yeah, the last Celosaur list I showed you guys, I was a big fan of. This one, I'm a little bit more in between, unsure about. Um, it's got the mixed herbs in it, um, only the one Gardena, but it has Bill's analysis, which is pretty cool for like setting up the mixed herbs plays. Um, I'm kind of just accessing like stuff like stadiums and tools. So I kind of like the idea of built analysis actually in this deck. You're a little bit slower, um, and you want to like grab stuff like your stadiums and uh, tool cards. One thing that definitely seems iffy to me is the tool lineup here. We got a choice helmet, uh, a choice band, uh, no buff padding, and only on only the one choice helmet. Um, want to escape more to keep those shamans mobile, get them moving. Uh, we got only the one choice helmet to really protect us, give ourselves that big HP. That we're looking for um i don't really mind actually the choice helmet over the uh the pads just because a lot of people do play absol right now so the pads almost become useless in a lot of matchups it's really hard for you to like want to go out of your way and chase the absol as well because usually they can just it's usually being played in a deck where they can just stretch her back um of course then there's also my least favorite draw supporter right now erica's um but i do think if it is gonna work reasonably over cynthia in a deck, Celosaur is actually a, probably a pretty decent one to play the Erica's over Cynthia's in, so I don't mind it too much. Uh, and then Heavy Guzma, actually. Heavy Guzma on this list as well. Um, another interesting um, addition to this top four list uh, is the Heavy Guzma. So yeah, I don't really have too much of an opinion on this list yet. Haven't had a whole ton of time to play many games with it, so I'm going to be jumping into it with you guys here. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm interested. It's definitely an interesting... Uh, take on uh, the Celosaur deck. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. To the first game here, our opponent did go first. Got themselves some pokes, but nothing too uh, too big to worry about. And with this Acrobat, ooh, Stadium cards are so good though in this in this deck. I don't really want to get rid of the Stadium card, but getting the Venusaur to attach to seems pretty good. Yeah, I really didn't know. That's like the one of the worst things to get rid of there. All right, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and throw the stadium out because we kind of have to start the stadium war, I feel like, with our opponent. I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like we kind of have to start the stadium war and be like, all right, all right, here we go, let's do this thing. Um, I don't want to bench anything yet. I kind of want to put this on here because it'll make its way there anyways. Skateboard we can go ahead and hold on to and then just kind of pass over to our opponent see what they got in store for us on their turn two probably gonna see the shaman going down might see a guzma or like rock bring up smack this celosaur those would be all uh reasonable things for our opponent to do on their turn um, and then from there we're gonna look to use that Erica's plus acrobike find a double colorless energy that's what we need we need that dce there's a grimer really not that big of a deal because um, we're only gonna be putting one more shaman in play anyways so it's like Kind of whatever that they have grimer i've actually almost like considered trying to do a celestial list with zero shaman because in every matchup it's kind of like well these are cool but they're gonna die uh, before our opponent even starts hitting our celestial most of the time or they have muck and they shut them off i don't know it feels like there's so many things where it's like the uh the shamans do absolutely nothing but yeah we'll see how this one goes see if this one's any different there's the dce knocking out my poor shaman and there's a let loose as well eh, maybe i should have mentioned shaman attached to the skateboard now I'm thinking like that. Um, it's fine though. Four cards. We got the Erica's. So we're in business. Draw six cards next turn. Still have yet to trade. Got a potion in hand. And as long as the choice helmet sticks around, we'll be good for quite a while. We'll be we'll be chilling. There's not much our opponent can actually do about the current situation. Mm -mm. Knock out the shaman. Goodbye. All right. Celosaur comes up. And yep. Erica's for six. About to do nothing great could attach active i think it will be an attach active here no, not a, it's not not a great feeling to attach active though we're not gonna be able to attack this turn but uh, currently reducing all damage taken by 60 so our opponent's only actually hitting us for 60 maybe um oh no they got the choice band they're hitting us for a little bit more they're hitting us for uh, 90. that's actually like a lot more than i thought it was gonna be that kind of, that's kind of unfortunate um looks like bills is uh on the menu for next turn Bill's analysis into, well, we could hit him with another mixed herbs, that would be pretty good. Uh, and then just keep building on the Celosaur, look for that GX attack eventually. Um, and just get everything back. Yeah, it would be very nice if our opponent whiffs the, um, whiffs the stadium bump here. I think that would be very nice, Ooh, right as I say it, man, right as I say it, every time. Alright, it's back. Uh, so we definitely want to look to recover our stadiums. 
Um, our only stadium left in the deck is the um, the best stadium, Life Forest. Uh, but I have a feeling um, our opponent's going to hold on to their last stadium. They, if they play Devoured Field, they usually play two Devoured Fields. So uh, they have one more Devoured Field left that will probably be making its way down to uh, bump our Life Forest when we eventually find it. I would imagine. I would imagine that's what the, their plan will end up being. Or their, their, the way their game plan, the way the game plays out. You know what I'm saying? Everyone knows what I'm saying. We're good here. Another trade. Get rid of a Guzma. That's fine. Yeah. So we're gonna keep this guy healthy and then look for the DCE eventually, and then go Evergreen GX. Heal him up. Uh, get all of our stuff back. Hopefully, after we use a couple mixed herbs, ideally all four. Probably won't actually be able to use all four before we have to heal the guy though, because uh, we gotta keep him healthy. We can't let our opponent be drawing prizes out here. Um, so yeah, probably look to Evergreen after a turn or two. Still trading. Okay. Well, they're about a deck out already. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. They're already very close to decking out. So they're down one Ace of Roll, I believe. Yep, one Ace of Roll down. Yeah, there's 130. That's a lot of damage. More damage than I really want to deal with. There's the DCE, though. So we're really close to being able to just go Evergreen. Oh, there's that mixed. And I think we just get another Bills to dig deeper for more healing on a following turn. Yeah, that sounds good to me. All right, hit him with the mixed guys. Boom, heal him up. You know what? I heal him again. Bada bing. Let's see, their judge is still live. I doubt they play enhanced hammer, so we're just going to attach a DC and hit him with that pollen hazard for 50. And we're kind of setting up perfectly to go into the GX attack next turn. They'll bring up this guy, smack us for some damage, and then we'll be like, okay, Bill's analysis. Hopefully find a little bit more healing. A double mix herbs would be insanely good. Uh, but if it's just like a couple potions or something, that's cool. Maybe potion life forest. Heal this guy up a little bit. And then, oh no, we'll be using the Ever Evergreen GX. So we don't really need to heal him up at all. Well, actually, if we build into some healing, we heal him up. And then um, then we Evergreen next turn, actually. So we go like a step further. Bench a new, the other Celosaur attached to that guy. Maybe use the Erica's even, because that would draw six. Bills sees the top seven, but if you're drawing six of the seven, it feels better than Bills. You get six of the seven cards. You're missing one card. Sure, it could be the healing card, but maybe it's not. Um, so yeah, we could probably Erica's next turn. Actually, we can for sure Erica's next turn because we can go bench, attach choice to the bench, attach to the bench, Erica's for six, um, and then decide. Oh, but we don't want to attach just yet though. Hopefully our top deck is playable and we can play it out first because we want to like decide afterwards whether or not we want to GX attack. So let's see what the top deck is. It is a potion. That's okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go bench choice band. Erica's, and then we'll, after this, we'll see what, if we, what we want to do. Judge Swishel, I'm drawing a card. Looking for some more healing. Go ahead and grab the Shaman. Maybe they can't knock us out. They're doing uh, 150, 160, 170, 180 with a Kakui. Um, 180, if we might, it's going to go to 90. Um, plus 180, that's just enough. Especially because they could Field Blower away, I think. So they could have it if they have Kakui Field Blower. So it's not worth risking, I guess. I guess we'll see what this gives us. Another Grass Energy. Perfect. Um, so I think we're going to go with the GX attack here, then. I'll go ahead and throw him in play. Throw this in play, just in case they judge us next turn. Don't want to really deal with that. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and hit him with the Evergreen GX. Heal ourselves up. <clears throat> Everything from the discard pile back into the deck. All that healing back into the deck. All right. So we have more outs to finding that healing. Uh, but it's actually okay if we let one Celosaur go down, because then we just have another one, and then we'll have to try and fully heal that guy, or keep that guy fully healed. Um, so we're still, like, in a fine spot. Uh, let's see, our opponent would have done 180. I'm kind of going back through that play and see if I should have maybe actually just attacked and then gone with the Evergreen next turn. Lycanroc could have maxed out at 150, so that's irrelevant. So this was doing 150, 160, 170, 180 with um, the... So this is also fine for us, our opponent bringing up this one and hitting this. This is fine. We'll just go attach to it and then Guzma something else up. The 4 Guzma is really nice for that. Um, I don't even really want to play the Acrobat yet. We're just going to go attach to this. And I think we'll Guzma knock out the Muck so then we can utilize the Shaman. I could also get two prize cards if we go after this Zorark, but I feel like racing for prize cards really isn't that big of a deal. Being able to use the Shaman for healing 20 every time is pretty good. I like the idea of it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and with that Solar Beam. I guess I could have looked for a Stadium this turn with the Acro Bike. So I guess I should have Acro Bike because I could have got one of my Stadiums um, off of there. Yeah, probably worth it to use it. Oh well. Not this time. Oh, I could have healed him. No, I couldn't have healed him. We had the Muck in play. I was like, oh, I could have healed him with Shaman too, but no, 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 no. Muck wasn't play. That's why I wanted to chase the Muck. It's all coming back to me now. 
Um, so I was gonna go back to that one play. It was 180 plus 90 is 170. So we needed Kakui and Field Blower. A lot of people don't play the Field Blower, so maybe I didn't really need to play around the Field Blower there. I'm um, kind of going back and like looking on that play, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure actually. Uh, it's pretty close. I think it's pretty close in my head. It's pretty close on whether on what not, uh, what play I should have made. So I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about it. Just keep cruising here. So our opponent does have the Guzma knock out this Celosaur. or Lycanroc bring it up, knock it out. Same thing. Here he comes to the active, and he's getting knocked out. Well, our opponent needs. There it is, the Kakui. Uh, they are getting close to decking out. I'm wondering if I want to bench the Celestor to try and get more draw off this Lily. I think I almost do, but I got to be careful about that. But in this situation, it's kind of the same thing as having just one Celestor in play. Well, this guy's got the Choice Helmet. So not quite the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and Bills. Grab this and a Judge Whistle so we can dig deeper. Then we have another Bills on the next turn. I think we're just retreating and confusing this guy. I could attach to the Shaman to start moving Grass and Iron. I could attach to this guy. It's a little risky. Our, person, our opponent could go Lycanroc plus Judge. That's what I'd be afraid of. I don't really want to replace the Stadium yet because they still have a Stadium left themselves. Um, so I could dig for the other Stadium with this, actually. Definitely taking those mixed herbs. Goodbye, Shaman. You are useless. You can make your way to the discard pile. And I guess if our opponent does judge, we wouldn't want to draw this grass energy, so I'm going to attach this. But I don't want to put this in play, because that could get awkward if they bring that up, plus judge me. So we're going to go with the Pollen Hazard here. And we're still set up in a pretty good spot. Um, overall, the Kikui's down, but they have a Pal Pad still. Where it's at, I mean, it could be prize. So I think we'll figure out in this either this turn or the turn after where the Pal Pad's at. Because they're definitely going to want to be using it to use Ace of Roller or something like that soon. Uh, there's the pal pad now. I think Kakui would be good to have. They're going for the double ace roll, so we don't have to worry about Kakui anymore. No one plays two Kakui. This guy's not special. He's not playing two Kakui. This man still just plays the one Kakui. We don't have to worry about Kakui anymore, so we can factor that out of any damage our opponent does turn to turn. Um, what else? They're probably out of Guzma. Maybe one Guzma left, but they have the Lycan Rock, so that is at least something they can use. Uh, yeah, they're just gonna look to ace a roller. They don't even have to ace a roller this turn. They could just hard retreat this to a different sword. That would be like 100% fine. Uh, maybe even like hard retreat this into this one and ace a roller this one with the choice band to get more value out of the choice band. That's what I would do if I was my opponent. Uh, I would have ace a roller this one, get that choice band back, send up this one. Especially because uh, Selby Venusaur decks sometimes do play field blower. So I, if I was my opponent, I would have played that a little bit safer. I think. Give yourself a potential a little bit more value. See, see now they're bringing up the one with the choice band. But you don't need four DCE. Like uh, you get that DCE back as well. Now the one with the choice band is in the active. That's not good, right? Losing that choice band value. Yeah, so I think they should have hard retreated and use this one. Um, yeah, you losing DCEs and the way the way that uh, Zork currently plays is actually not that big of a deal. Um, we're going to draw a card first. Ooh. All right, we're going to draw a card again. There are the mixed. Mm, hit him with the Bills. Stadium. And if we play those down, we could get pretty low. I think the Erica's could come into play on the next turn. So I think we're going to grab the Erica's here. Uh, get this stadium out. Uh, once again, making it hard for our opponent to do damage to us. Heal off some of the damage from the Celesaur. And we're going to get our first knockout here. Oh, wait. We have Shaman with the Floral Heal as well. Let's get it. Uh, so, yeah, then they're going to have to bump the stadium if they want to keep up. I'm almost positive. Um, if they don't bump that stadium, I think we're just going to start to run over them. Um, and they do bump it, then we put our life force in play, and I'm pretty sure our life force is still going to play for the rest of the game. Uh, he probably plays, our opponent probably plays two Devoured Fields, so... Um, that's kind of what you want to do. You kind of want to use as many of these early on. Force out your opponent's stadiums, because, like, it's... Like, they can't keep... If this sticks in play forever, like, especially against a Zorak deck, like, your opponent actually just can't keep up with damage. Um, so they have to put their stadiums down to bump these, and they're like, all right, Life Force is coming into play. It's not only coming into play, it's staying in play, and I'm healing 60 damage a turn. Yep, there's the second Devoured Field. Maybe they play three Devoured Field and they'll pull one over on us, but, uh, I don't think so. I think, uh, we're gonna put Life Force in play next turn, it's gonna, st and then, I don't know, our opponent could even concede at that point. Our, our opponent might even concede at that point. Um, because I don't think they can handle, uh, the Life Forest. We'll see, though, there's a stretcher. This would be a perfect time for our opponent to judge us. This is pretty much... The last chance to get a solid judge off, I think. I think from here, we're just going to look to take over the game. There's a stretcher, so they don't deck out. 
Uh, but yeah, like I said, I haven't really played too much with this build of deck, but I really like it so far. The mixed herbs plus the bills analysis combo really well to get the healing off. It's a heavy potion build. This is the first time I've ever played around with a heavy potion build. Still has the standard, you know, four judge whistle, four acrobat to get through the deck pretty, pretty aggressively. But uh, yeah, this has been uh, actually been pretty good actually. I've been uh, I've been enjoying this build. Uh, I'm enjoying this game with this build. Like I said, I haven't played a whole ton with the deck. A lot of my games so far have been against um, Blacephalon. So those did not last very long. Um, sure, just give him a potion as well. And can't quite get to the Erica. Can't get to the Lily. Could get to the Judge, but Judge is not that great. Could Guzma knock out that, so we can use our Shaman constantly. Um, so you know what? Uh, you know what? Wait, you know what? Uh, you know what? You know what? Let's go for it. Let's uh, let's keep the Shaman, the Dream of using Shaman constantly alive. Could be the difference maker. You never know. Um, hit him with that Solar Beam. Take the knockout. 150. Let's see what we get. A grass energy. So yeah, this deck and the heavy Guzma gives us a little bit more options to turn to turn. Especially when our opponent goes like Guzma knockout our shaman doesn't even pressure our Celebi Venusaur. It's nice to have like a Guzma in response to that. We're like, okay, you picked off whatever you want. Okay, we're gonna go pick off whatever we want. Oh, the third devoured field, of course, of course. How could I forget about that third devoured field? Alright, alright, you know what? You got me this time with your third devoured field. Uh, there's a communication. Probably just gonna see. Nah, who knows? Uh, but if we do get a Guzma here off the Acrobike, we do win the game as we'll be able to take out this Lycanroc for our last two prize cards. If not, we'll probably just go uh, Gardenia for the turn, heal up the Celesaur once again, just confuse this thing until we eventually draw the Guzma. Plenty of healing still left, two more mixed herbs and two potions left in the deck. I think all four mixed herbs were in the deck. Um, there's a Guzma from our opponent on our Shaman. That's 100% fine. I actually wonder if they are out of gust effects. So we could bench, potentially bench another shaman if we wanted to. We're not going to because it's uh, not worth the risk. Um, and I, I kind of want to bench this Celestor, but I really shouldn't just in case it does get gust mud up. Um, all right, draw for turn. Netball. Choose in the deck. Go ahead and fail that because we want to try and use Erica's like at, eventually. All right, Acrobike. Definitely taking the mixed herbs. Yeah. Could just attach active actually, or bench this attach. Play Erica's. All right, let's go for it. Um, I'm feeling like it's actually not that not that risky. Erica's for six. Feeling the unrisk of it all. I'm gonna burn these. We're gonna go ahead and grab grab the both Pokemon out of the deck so we can't draw into them, and then it makes our bills analysis a little bit better. We should even like check what's actually in the other mix herbs, two potions, the other stadium, uh, two DC, one Guzma. All right, so we're pretty much all set on healing. I don't think we can be stopped here. Um, I don't want to bench this guy though. And then Pollen Hazard. They might be out of Gust Effects. They could be playing a thick Lycan Rock line with like a, like a 3 3 or something. So they might have one Gust Effect left with the Bloodthirsty Eyes, which bringing up this would, would be a little annoying, but like it's not that big of a deal. Um, we have an Energy we could attack with it. We Gardena it. We should be able to build analysis likely into some more healing as well. We could even dig three cards deep with the Whistle plus the Acro Bike. And then we'd almost for sure find a way. Uh, to he oh yeah, we can like pretty much almost deck out at this point. Yeah, we'd be we'd be more than fine to find healing. Definitely gonna at least look for the Guzma next turn. Wait, the Guzma doesn't work anymore because I have this guy. We could like no, I still can't do it. All right, you know what? Uh, I guess so. I guess we can't win next turn because I can't actually knock this thing out. So I guess we're just chilling here and constantly poisoning and confusing this guy for a little while until we do find um, stuff. Start with his adventure bag. Nothing to grab. Okay, I didn't expect that. But uh, that makes sense. Um, one last look through. All right. Um, hmm. I'm going to go ahead and judge whistle. I'm going to draw a card. Mm, Lily. Acrobite. Pretty good. So now they should be out of stadiums. They should not have another stadium going on here. Arninia. And... Huh. Just go ahead and pollen hazard again. Yeah, now they should be out of stadiums. There's no way they have another stadium card. Four devoured field? Nah, there's no way. And they are playing basic fightings. That means no unit, so they don't play Weavile. Interesting that they play such a heavy devoured field count for no Weavile in the deck. And, well, the Epi Guzma's like fine, I guess. Heavy devoured field is interesting for uh, the lack of. Um, what's it called, though? Alright, so we can almost see our whole deck next turn with Bill's Analysis, so we should find 
the healing we need here. Oh, there's a judge. That could get pretty annoying, I guess. They're doing minus 60 on the turn, though, so I think they have to two-shot us no matter what. Um, there's the Guzma, but we don't have anything to retreat off of. There's the Shaman, so if we get the... Um, yeah, there's no way they're two-shot on the big guy. I mean, they have to be two-shot on the big guy. I don't want to bench the Shaman because they could have another Lycanroc left, so we're just going to Lily for two. We built analysis for next turn to heal. Pollen Hazard. I think we're still just fine. Um, they would, even if they could get the damage, they'd have to get through the Confuse Flip. And I don't even think they can get the damage. So we should be fine here. Next time we have the Bills Analysis to find a little bit of extra healing for this guy. It's actually getting kind of close. I'm actually kind of scared now a little bit. Um, yeah. Uh, a little bit closer than I thought it would be. Yeah, they probably play a third Lycanroc, though, I think for sure. How many DCE are they down? Two. So they're third DCE, so they have one DCE left. Um, they have two fighting energy left, I believe, which they probably should have looked... Well, maybe one is prize, the last prize. Probably should have looked like set that up on like a Zorak so they can attack with a Zorak with two fighting energy. I think that would have been ideal for our opponent. Um, yeah, I'm getting uh, a little nervous. I'm a little nervous here now because of the... Uh, there's the hard retreat to Azorua. I assume this will become a Zorak. And we will get Rite Speeding again. Our opponent really does not want to trade, though. There's a Rainbow. So is it going to be the Ram for 10? What is going on here? Just the pass. So we top deck DCE. We do win. No DCE. Definitely take the Mixed. Um, we can't for sure get the other Mixed Herbs. We have a lot of HP left. I don't think we're dying anytime soon. So I think I'm just going to go with the Pollen Hazard here. And then we'll go with the Bills Analysis because it'll for sure be able to find the other Mixed Herbs. Next turn, if it was the last card, we could f whiff it. So, whiff it. Uh, so we don't want to do that. So I'm just going to go like this instead. This is fine. Just go ahead and punch this thing. He's uh, he's dead. Um, that's fine. I guess Lele could hit us reasonably hard, right? 140 minus 60, so 80. I think Zorak's doing the same amount of damage. Opponent has two cards left in deck, so I think we've got them uh, pretty much locked up here, despite their three Devoured Field shenanigans. Almost got the Life Force to stick. That's like the, uh, that's when you, that's when you basically just win the Celosaurus. When you get the Life Force to stick, I don't think anything really beats you. Um, unless they're one shot on you. If you're playing against Bocephalon, you still probably lose. They might even let you just keep the Life Force, or just, uh, kind of go ahead and make fun of you for having, uh, a, a big green guy that's weak to fire. Alright, but that's it. Right is beating. They found their last CC. Not enough, though, as they are decked out. Um, eh, yeah, that's it. We'll go ahead and pass over to our opponent. I guess we could have KO'd them as well with the Solar Beam, but that's a victory through the deck out. And yeah, so we take a pretty reasonable game. It got a little close there at the end, I have to admit, but uh, I think we were pretty much always destined to win that one. Um, at some point, we just had enough healing and enough ways to find the healing. So the Bills Analysis Mixer combo is pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, Zork matchup definitely favored, and we take a pretty reasonable one there. Into another one here. No idea what we're up against. I'm hoping the Green Sleeves... Uh, do not indicate a mirror match. That would be terrible. That does not sound like fun. A couple mulligans from our opponent, though, and we'll see shortly. Oh, no, man. Oh, no. All right. About to walk into a Celesaur mirror match. Everyone's favorite uh, gameplay about to go down. So we don't want to attach a DC because they play Enhanced Hammer. We want to look to go with Grass Energy early. And we do have more healing than our opponent because they are running the Crushing Hammer and Hammer version. Or I have to assume we have more healing than our opponent. Um, so that does favor us if we're able to set up. Um, but we got to get to the... We got to set up. So, like, that's the big thing. And also, Guzma, Guzma chasing down some of the Shamans is going to be really good as well. I'm going to play this first. Hopefully, find a Grass Energy. Not quite. So I am just going to go ahead and attach the DCE here because we have to go with the Lily. And unfortunately, it is for two. But there's the Grass follow-up. All right, we're chilling. Uh, turn two look like we can KO a Shaman unless they got the E-Hammer or Crushing Hammer Reasonably likely that they would have uh, one of those. There's a Nest Ball gonna be grabbing their own Celesaur, I assume um, Yeah, so this one might turn out to be uh, pretty boring pretty exciting a little bit of both a little bit of each There's a grass energy from our opponent. We could just Guzma smack that I guess there's the enhanced hammer here we go <clears throat> All right, I'm loving it bills Hmm. I'm going to grab a nest, Netball and a Bills. We're not going to bench anything because we don't want to give our opponent a Guzma target, but we're going to look to grab another thing eventually. So I wonder if it's worth it to KO the Shaman or more worth it to bring the Celestor up and hit it first. I feel like bringing this up and hitting it first is actually 
better than Knockout Shaman. Uh, get that early Confusion Poison, especially because our opponent is probably not running. Well, no, I'm not so sure. You know, I'm, I'm always not so sure about these things. I like two Shaman set up, so the damage we're doing is like that little, that little anyways. I don't know, man. I'm lost on this one. Someone help. Yeah, we're going to go Guzma. <clears throat> early Burning Confuse on this guy. We're going to get him with it. We're going to be like, all right, do you want to flip through that Confuse? And they'll probably say yes and then get heads. But uh, we're going to force him into it here. DCE. Come here, bud. Come here, I got something to tell you. Uh, Pollen Hazard. All right, let's see how he took the joke. Sick Burn, followed up by some Poison. All right, looks like it went pretty well. And heads, ooh, heal the burn. All right, that's fine. Uh, our opponent has yet to play a supporter, so we're definitely drawing better than them. That's another thing I've uh, kind of noticed about this list of the various. It seems to be pretty consistent. Like, um, even like Bill's analysis turn one, if you don't get the Lily, is like fine. Oh, they are, so they are playing reasonably heavy healing, as we see this Life Herb. And that's something we are not playing. We are not playing the Life Herb ourselves. <clears throat> I don't think it's very good, though. Yeah, I don't quite understand the... The idea behind the life herb doesn't seem very good. A tails from our opponent, and just what we're looking for. Wrap them up, boys. Um, there it is. And a concession from our opponent, although I'm not like too surprised. That's kind of what you got to do in the Salisbury matchup. If, if you just like get tails there, I think you do just concede. Um, I don't think we quite had the knockout next turn, but you can just like poison, burn, and confuse him again, and then that's it. That's game. So I'm well, not too surprised our opponent gets scooped there. I respect it. I respect the scoop there. And let's go ahead and uh, yeah, move on from the Salisbury mirror. Get into another one here, playing against uh, Pika Pads. I saw Order Pads and Lightning Energy on a mulligan, so that's what I'm going to assume it is. Oh, two mulligans. Draw two. Ooh, gra uh, DCEs are perfect here. Let's go ahead and start setting this boy up. There he is. The man, the myth, the legend. DC down. This into play. I kind of just want to go for the Judge. Um, put an Acrobike here first. Oof. Go with the Lily. I don't want to put the choice band in play though. I'm just going to Lily for three. A little bit more setup. Uh, nothing to really judge Whistle for, so I think it's just going to be a pass from here to over to our opponent. And yeah, we'll see how it goes from here. This can be <clears throat> a pretty close matchup, I think. Um, I feel like the Turbo Pico ROM is a little bit tough for Celosaur sometimes. Uh, not unwinnable, but tough, uh, tough for sure. Tough nonetheless. Can be pretty tough, yeah. We'll see where it goes though. We have a pretty good setup for our turn two. Uh, it's possible our shame just kind of lives, so that's fine. There's a let loose from our opponent. All right, it's gonna make things a little bit tougher. Kind of mess with our hand a little bit. That's fine. They also have to draw reasonably off it to actually pull anything off. Oh man! All right. <clears throat> so a rather lackluster hand here, and our opponent got the Cynthia. All right, all right, all right. It's fine. We're gonna be fine. I think. I hope. Another nest ball from our opponent. Um, they play a Tate and Liza, which is interesting. You don't really see Tate and Liza ever. Never, ever, ever, ever. Um, so that's a little interesting. There's the attachment. So, Pika Pads not quite getting the job done here, it looks like. And uh, on the turn one anyways, and it looks like it's going to be probably a pass from here from our opponent. Yep, there it is. Over to us. We got a Grass Energy, and we could Guzma and get the Celebi Venusaur into the active and confuse and poison something um <clears throat> we could take a prize on the marsh shadow but i don't think that's really relevant could bring up the other picaram and put some damage on that so our opponent it's hard for our opponent to utilize that later on i think that's what i want to go with or we could bring up the zero aura kind of has the same effect as bringing up the as pe bringing up the picaram they have to put an energy here, though, which is, like, not that big of a deal because they're going to full with this one to this one anyways. So I think I just want to bring up this Picarom and confuse it. Pollen Hazard. Um, yeah, just get a little bit of damage on it ahead of time. We're not doing the whole ton of damage because of the Aether Paradise, but it's fine. Getting some damage on this is better than none, especially, like, if they have to, like, bench another Pokemon that is not a Picarom or if they prize their third Picarom. They're only stuck with these two Picaroms, and this one would be damaged, which is potentially pretty cool. We'll see. Yeah, there's the Coco Prism, but no lightning in the discard pile yet. And Cynthia, they're going to be drawing some cards. We wish we were drawing some cards right here. <clears throat> um, but they have still quite a ways to go to actually be able to attack this turn. They need to get this thing out of the active, this one into the active with three energy. Um, so yeah, they're quite a ways away from actually doing anything on this turn. So we're, we're fine for right now. We just need a little bit more time to draw into some... Uh, 
Better cards, ideally a top deck Lily next turn, something like that, would be spectacular. Yeah, something like a Lily next turn would be great, actually. Can I get a Can I get a Lily off the top or an Erica's? Actually, actually, Erica's would be the best here. Draw six on top of all this healing that we have. That would be perfect. We can get Erica's actually. Erica's would be perfect here. Please, uh, one Erica's, please. Ultra Ball from our opponent. They do get the energy in this card part. There's another Let Loose Marshadow. So I feel like we're getting Let Loose, which uh, I'm down with. You know what? That's fine with me. Um, I imagine they're going to pop the Cocoa Prism and then play the Let Loose, or maybe they just took the Let Loose to just have and get just get the Lightning in the discard pile. That's also possible, in, in which case we're, we're not getting Let Loose, and that kind of stinks. Because um, they have already played their Draw Supporter for the turn, so there's no reason for them to uh, get a Lele, potentially, here. Lele for a Draw Supporter, as long as they have a Draw Supporter in hand, doesn't make any sense. Um... But we'll see what they end up going with. Just going to be a pass here, it looks like. Take a take some more damage. That's fine with me. Uh, there's a judge. Uh, so I think we just go ahead and hit that judge. Let, our see, let ourselves see some new cards. Um, could punch this thing for 120. Wouldn't quite knock it out. We could GX, but that seems like a waste of the GX. So, I mean, mm, it's going to take 30 more damage from Poison and Burn. Go up to 110. We'd hit it for Solar Beam for 120. So it would live. So I think I'd rather just set up the second uh, Celosaur. And then just Pollen Hazard again. Yeah, this seems like a better play overall to me. Unfortunately, not a spectacular hand off the Judge. Reasonable draw. Got a second Celosaur in play, which is cool. But uh, nothing else past that, which is not as cool. Kind of stinks. Uh, but that's fine. We'll... Uh, We'll draw into something eventually, hopefully, before the game is over. I don't think this cell source is going down anytime soon, so uh, this one will stick around for a little bit longer as well. And then we just kind of have to build into uh, the next one from there. I guess a GX attack is pretty scary. It's not going to be happening for a while, though, so it's not that big of a deal yet. Yeah, not too big of a deal yet. We're not afraid of the GX attack quite yet. Yeah, there's the Dance of the Ancients. Our opponent can pretty easily... Attack with full blitz this turn. Dance the agents. Set up this one with the three energy, and then attach here. Retreat. Yeah, there it is. Goodbye, Pikaram. Hello, Pikaram. And then full blitz for 120. So it looks like they don't have too much else going on in the hand, or uh, they're just sitting on like three or four e power and just waiting for the moment to knock out one of our Celosaurs. It's one of those two things. And uh, now I'm interested. Where are they going to put the energy? That's the big, the big question here. Where is that energy going? All onto the active. All right. Uh, so now we have to decide if we want to evergreen GX or not. See what our top deck is. Life Force. That's pretty good. But I might just be using evergreen GX here, anyways. I almost think I am. I mean, we could heal 90 and then just confuse and poison this thing. Um, but then if he has Guzma, bring up this one, hit this one for 200, just snipe this one for 170. I mean, it wouldn't even be that good if they did that, and then we can... So we could just Pollen Hazard, we could just heal, Potion Heal Pollen Hazard. So that kind of seems reasonable, actually. I kind of like that, actually. Well, we could Life Force so we do more damage with the Pollen, but I want to keep this in case of the Snipe. I think this is the right play here. This seems kind of good. We'll see where this goes. I'm actually interested to see how this goes. I kind of like the idea of this play. Like, even if they knock out our active, I think we're, like, kind of fine with that. Um, yeah. And we can always attach active. Attach this one again, and then, like, a, a GX with it next turn, depending on what our opponent does. Because they could retreat to this one. Yeah, we'll just see how it goes. We'll just see. I'm, I'm actually curious to see how this goes. There's a Zerka tree. That is annoying. All right. So now we have to deal with the Zerka tree. Although, does it stop effects? All damage. So we still poison and confuse it. So it's actually not that poison. We poison, confuse it, and burn it. So it's actually not that big of a deal that the circuitry exists. Ooh, there's the tails. All right, that's what we were looking for. And now I think we GX attack it and remove everything from play. Could we knock it out with the solar beam, actually? Solar beam would be doing... Oh, we could save the GX attack. Solar beam would be doing 120 right now. Um, so we could replace stadium solar beam. Or 150. Okay, that's fine. We'll do that then. Seems good to me. Very nice. And a solar meme for the knockout on the Pikaram. Three prize cards, six energy down. No way they're GX attacking anytime soon again. And we have a Guzma, so we actually just win the game next turn if we have a way to ever retreat one of these guys. 
uh, on this Picaram. But I would have to imagine we're going to get uh, Lightning GX here by our opponent. So we're going to have a little bit slower of a time here. There's a Thunder Mountain replacement. Ooh. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we can confuse and poison and burn this still, so it's really not that big of a deal. Um, if it stopped everything... Oh, they're just going in with the Rumbling Wires. Okay. They just do not do not care. Alright, let's we'll see what our draw is. Definitely going to heal this guy up. Oh wait, I think we have it, right? Yeah, we got it. We got the game. Boom, Netball. Boom, Grass Energy. And... Yep. Tasha Shaman. Guzma, this other Picaram. And take him out. So like I said, I think this one... We got a... We didn't even, like, have access to that many cards, but still able to pull this one out pretty reasonably. But I do think the matchup is a pretty close matchup overall, as we take out the speaker on for our last three prize cards. I do think the matchup is pretty close. Um, kind of had, like, just enough what we needed to be able to pull it out in this one. Our opponent had a lot more access to a lot more cards. Uh, didn't quite matter, though. We had just enough to be able to, like, keep attacking, slow our opponent down. They got the tails. Awesome. Sick. All right. Guys, that's going to do it for this coverage of the top four Celesaur deck from Denver. I actually really like this list. The more that I played it these last couple games, really enjoying it. So definitely try it out if you're a fan of the Celesaur. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Links to my Twitch live stream and social medias in the description below. Peace.